I'm sure you have seen a cat catch a bird or a mouse and not quite kill it and then for a little while play with it. And you think the cat is cruel. It's not. It's not cruel. It's preserving its life. In the course of the pursuit and trying to catch this animal, the animal produces a hormone that gives it an extra boost of energy, adrenaline. It's toxic. And the cat isn't going to eat that animal while it's toxic with this adrenaline in its bloodstream. So it partly kills it. Not dead. It can't escape anymore, but it's not dead. Then it plays it, makes it move. So the animal is able to reabsorb some of this adrenaline, sends it back to the adrenals, passes the rest out as toxins through the liver. And when it's clean, the cat eats it. We don't do that. We kill the animals, the beef, you know, in tremendous herds. They smell death. They smell, they know, they can't move. They generate tremendous lots of adrenaline. We kill them with the adrenaline in their bloodstream. And then what happens? Do we eat nice fresh meat? No. Now we age them, age the meat. It putrefies, yes, it putrefies. And then we have the long intestinal tract of the vegetarian animal. And this putrefied mess that we damage some more by cooking and spicing stays much too long in our long intestinal tract. Then we get cancer in the colon. Because the putrefied meat that's full of adrenaline, toxic, old, aged, wasted, spoiled, and excuse me, rotten, <clears throat> stays much too long in our long intestinal tract that's designed for dealing with fresh and uh, vegetarian fibrous food. There's no fiber in it. And then we get constipation.